Who's going to build the cities of tomorrow? Will it be human workers or machines? Why not both? I'm Grant Imahara. Along with Wired Brand Lab and Mauser, I'm traveling the world, exploring the ways people and companies are using innovative technologies and shaping smarter cities. It's back home to Los Angeles, a city I know very well. Yet I had no idea that it's home to one of the leading augmented reality companies in the world. At Daiquiri, we make augmented reality hardware and software to solve some of the most challenging environments. That's AR put to work in industrial and enterprise and automotive applications. Cities are an example of how much information there is in the background. And what AR is really good at is taking that information and making it visible. So how about a city project, like a bridge, or a transportation center, a freeway, or even a giant skyscraper that you're trying to build? How could AR help in those situations? AR can help in all those cases. You can take a 3D model of your skyscraper and visualize it at true scale. So now you can explore it and see what it's like even before you build it. Most cities, they have construction, they have power and water and utilities of all kinds. And all of those services rely on data as the pulse of how they operate. Augmented reality is allowing them to get that out of the servers and into the hands of the workers that need to make decisions. What types of information could you overlay over an image? Say a worker goes into a job site, what could you show them? So a really common use today is in construction sites. You're taking your 3D models and combining them with real-time information, whether that's construction schedules and critical paths or actual operational data. Anything that you've got data for, whether it's the pipes running under the road, the cables, we can pop the helmet on and visualize them and see where they're running. And we can visualize our new buildings overlaid on top of that as well. So being able to have a model that's geospatially located, being able to put on a helmet from any viewpoint and look at what the impact will be is something that would be important. AR is fundamental to the work of the future. You could be servicing a car today and a jet engine tomorrow. It really has this potential to transform workers and elevate their skill levels. So we really think that it's going to be augmented reality everywhere. It, it won't matter what your job is, AR will touch it in some way. As Daiquiri visualizes the future, they're incorporating components from around the world. And Mauser suppliers like Analog Devices, Intel, Microchip Technology, and Molex are leading the way with products that make global innovation possible. I've been lucky enough to travel the world to take a closer look at how we're shaping smarter cities. I think it's time to head back to where this journey began, Wired Brand Lab, to take inventory of everything I've learned.